It says, is it permissible to learn logic and philosophy, to debate with the atheists, non-practicing Muslims, secularists, modernists, etc., to prove various aspects of Islam and to refute their false accusations against Islam? The answer, generally speaking, no. This is totally prohibited. Not because Islam cannot answer these uh, atheists or uh, f uh, philosophy and logic ideas, but rather because this is one of the biggest gates of shaitan to corrupt your heart and your soul. As long as you believe that the Quran and the Sunnah are the ultimate truth, there's no need for you to study something that casts doubts on each and every aspect of your life. This is the satanic way of trying to divert you from Islam. And therefore, this is totally prohibited. We, have, we know through history, great scholars like Abu Hamid al-Ghazali, who went into studying philosophy and logic in order to respond to these uh, uh, philosophers and to the atheists and to the Greeks, uh, uh, theologists, etc. However, though he was a great scholar, he lost his compass and he suffered drastically and made real bad mistakes in regards of Aqidah, trying to communicate with them only to be salvaged like 30 or 40 years, well, decades later on, and to raise a white flag saying that I have done something that I should not have done.